If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. some beautiful beautiful dessert and a chocolate cheese ball is that right chocolate chip cheese ball wow i mean i did, folks this is terry turner she has gone all out terry are these like long-term family recipes or where where did they come from well actually um you know when i had the store lillian mm -hmm. lane i um called up the girls that worked for me and i said okay what was your favorite thing that i've ever made for one of the ladies night out mm -hmm. and um overwhelmingly response it was two things one was a chocolate chip cheese ball mm -hmm. and the other was chocolate trifle well, I didn't want to do two chocolate so mm -hmm. I decided to use take advantage of um, spring and fresh fruit and so I'm going to do a lemon blueberry trifle oh yum can this be made ahead of time if you're having company so you can does it have to sit in the refrigerator maybe for a while you want you want it to kind of cool um, uh -huh. and chill for a while so that the uh, pudding and the um, Cool Whip mix can congeal. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can make it up to a day ahead mm -hmm. and it'll last for three days in the refrigerator afterwards. And I've got a, I've got a favorite. Since your employee said the chocolate version of this was also their favorite, will you share that with us so we can put it on our website too? Oh, absolutely. And you know what? You can do this with any kind of fruit. You right. know, you can be totally creative with it. You know. Strawberries is my favorite. Uh -huh. Also, especially with fresh whipped cream and um, just layered, and it's just so pretty, and mm -hmm. it's so just just makes just a beautiful fruit. Uh, dessert until the first scoop and then it's like you can't go back because it just <laughs> it's just a mess and I had usually you make these in trifle bowls mm -hmm. and I had two of them and one of them broke so I thought okay let's put it in a gigantic brandy snifter mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, that, yeah, that works. And, and if people don't even have one of these, they could do it in a large glass mm -hmm. bowl. You can do it in, can. A, in a pretty glass bowl like uh -huh. this, something like that. Glass so you can see the layers because that's, and at the end mm -hmm. we're going to show you what it looks like. But that's a lot of the beauty of it is to see the different layers. Okay, it lemon is. blueberry trifle. What do we need to do first? Okay, well, first of all, you need to have softened, one softened block of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that in our... Is mixer here. Eight ounces. Um, let's see, and then we have um, two boxes of Jello Instant Pudding, mm -hmm. and these are the smaller boxes. And so we're going to put that in there. And you're putting all these in the mix master bowl mm -hmm. together okay. with the um, block of cream cheese. And people are going to like that they can use like pre-made, you know, the pudding packages and. I think the cake, you use the cake mix for that too, right? So Well, exactly. And you know, the cake part is so, you, you can use pound cake, you can use angel food. And this recipe actually initially called for angel food cake. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite. It tastes like eating a sponge. So this <laughs> is, this is, I use the French vanilla, which uh -huh. is my favorite. Which is so, what? I made this ahead of time. You don't have to even make a cake. You can go to the grocery store and buy a pre-made angel food cake or pound cake or whatever you want. So. Mm -hmm. But you want to go ahead and have it prepared by the time you do this because you want to cut this up in one inch cubes. Hmm. So okay, I didn't measure it, but let's just, you know, for those yeah. that have to have some type of um, mental picture as to how to cut it up, uh -huh. which is what I've done here. And I've already layered the bottom layer of my uh, trifle bowl here. Can you find with, with the denser cake, I mean, this this feels very light, but you said you don't like the angel food because it tastes like sponge. Does the pudding kind of soak into it so it... No, it doesn't. Uh -huh. um, and that would be something that if you wanted it to, use something like a simple syrup, flavored uh -huh. simple syrup for that. Uh -huh. And um, 
but we're going to mix our cream cheese and our pudding. Okay. And three cups of cold milk. These whole milk or? Whole milk. Okay. Now, you know, when you're asking me those questions, or like if someone wanted to do a, um, something that was low fat, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm sure that you can mix the jello. It's obvious I don't eat low fat, so. Um. <laughs> well, it, frankly, it tastes better when you don't, so. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. <laughs> so anyway, so we've got three cups of cold milk, we have a block of cream cheese, and we have two packets of instant jello lemon pudding. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna give that a, whoa. Uh-oh, that's okay. No, that's okay. We do that at home, so. <laughs> All right, so maybe we shouldn't have done that. Okay, so we're going to give that a swirl, mix that up, mm -hmm. and it's going to come out like this. Very smooth. There yeah. you go. So, so then assemble it? we're going to, now this is the tricky part. Okay. And, uh, and I guess it's just because I'm a little bit anal about it. Um, it's so hard to get the pudding in there because I don't want to mess up the sides. Mm -hmm. So actually, I had put it in a piping bag and just, squir oh, and wow. just squirted it in there. Um, so you stir those together. You're going to well, you're going to fold it in. So okay. you're going to take your this is two cups of Cool Whip, mm -hmm. and you're going to save a little bit of it to put it on the top mm -hmm. with your garnish. And so you just kind of fold it in, and that was the. That was a trick of the trade that took me a long time to understand. I was trying to make a red velvet cake one time, and they said, fold it in. Mm -hmm. And you I had no idea of yeah. that concept. So you just kind of just kind of fold wrap it, it around, you know, <laughs> instead like of, it it's like, do anything but the stir. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, if you stir it, it, it really does deflate. Yes, the and what it do, it part. weighs it down and it takes away the fluffiness mm -hmm. of the. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, so probably most people watching would not have a a piping bag. So if it's done carefully, it's basically okay, right? Well, you know what a piping bag is? It is a Ziploc bag that With you load this into and cut the corner out of it. You mm -hmm. don't need you certainly don't need any fancy equipment for it. Mm -hmm. So. So I'm just layering it, and uh, I like the way that it's dripping down there. Mm -hmm. Kind of between all the little chunks of cake. It's just, it's just so pretty. Sometimes it's just too pretty to eat. Do you have, oh, I'm sure your family doesn't feel that way. They're all, all in for eating. Do you have a certain number of layers you're going to do? Well, this is supposedly three layers. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to, now this is something else that's not actually on the recipe, but I just want it to have a lot of robust taste. Mm -hmm. So this is something that I absolutely love, and I got this at Food, Food Lion, and it is a product of France. It's wild brew blueberry preserves. And mm. so I take a little bit of that, and before I put my fresh blueberries in, I just kind of put some of that on the top here. Need to spread it around enough and so everybody give can, it. Oh, you're gonna smear a pretty it. Pretty little swirl. It. swirl. Isn't that cool? Because I was thinking, well, I would like to be sure I get some of that. So that <laughs> if you swirl it though, you can make sure everybody. And does. it tastes awesome. It is so good. Uh -huh. All right. Now, if you freeze them, do you wash them and then spin off the water before you freeze? Yes. Them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yes, you uh, always want to wash them before you freeze them because then it's like point of no return. You know? And same thing with, with spinning off, you know, in a lettuce spinner or something to get all the moisture off because otherwise you're going to have all that ice crystals. That's and true. And that would affect the rest of That's true. And you know, another reason why I use the preserves is because you never really know if they're all going to be the nice, sweet, tarty taste mm -hmm. that you love. So that gives them a, gives it a little bit more sweetness there. Yeah, that definitely. And they're also seasonal. I think at the peak of the season, they're sweeter. Then at the latter part of the season, of course, when you get them year round fresh, they're usually not very sweet. Well, yeah, time. but you know what? what? Do you know that these grow year round in California? No. So if you ever see it says California blueberries, mm -hmm. you'll know that they're not in a greenhouse. Hmm. So we're going to go dry and then wet and then fruit each and time. And then the Cool Whip on the very top, save Correct. all the rest of that. And and just make it nice I'm and help you. pretty. And please do. 
Okay. And if I don't do well, you, you tell oh, me I'll how to slap change your it. hand. Oh, okay. Go for it. <laughs> These and and it, this is the cake mix you use because mm -hmm. this is, folks, this is Betty Crocker Super Moist. French vanilla cake mix, and you made it entirely according to is I made it pudding it, in the mix. Yes, and I'm exactly glad you, as it reads. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, I did it exactly the way that it's made. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, I made this in round pans. Not that it matters. This was two round pans, like cake pans. Mm -hmm. And I um, and once you cut it, you can make it, it in matter. a you know like a big uh, nine by thirteen mm -hmm. oblong or rectangle. And then you would come back with the pudding mix mm -hmm. and then swirl in some more of the blueberry. That is it. And I like your, I think that's really clever that you swirl it because if some of the blueberries aren't as good, you want, you know, they just give it the extra cook, kick of sweetness that you want. You know, you're acting like I did it because it tastes so good. No, I did it so that it would look hot. You know? <laughs> A little bit of everything. Look, did you say I was painting? And that she, she likes, you like hot looking food, right? <laughs> okay, and then you do that, mm -hmm. and we are going to take a, a break shortly, and okay. we are going to be making, and again, these are the two favorite, most requested recipes from your shop, Lily and Lane. You're going to love it. Can't wait. You're going to love it. Super, and we're going to have the finished products at the end, so you can really enjoy seeing you know, something she made at home under a controlled environment, not under TV lights. And mm -hmm. although you're doing a great job. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right. They're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park, or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks, and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with a hand-finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like, I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. Another one of your recipes that your employees said, all-time favorite. Tell us what would happen when you would put this out. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> this would be, this was all gone. Wow. They're like licking the plate, <laughs> you know, trying to, you got some more in the back. <laughs> and, and describe what the, the reaction is when people taste this. Well, it, this is a chocolate chip cheese ball. Now, that is like way out there. You're expecting something that's savory or salty, you know, mm -hmm. something that goes with beer at a football game. Um, but this is just a big old ball of awesomeness. I mean, it is so good that you're really going to be surprised. But um, it's so easy to make, too. Mm -hmm. Now, it does take a couple of times popping it in the fridge to get it to chill so mm -hmm. that you can kind of handle it a little bit better. But, um, but this is something that you have to try. And there's so many different variations that you can add to it. And um, I can talk about those later after okay. we kind of get okay. it all mixed Let's up. Make, but I want to say the other things you described, the peach cobbler, the tomato bisque, the, the 
grilled gourmet cheese. Gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches. You know what? You need to come back. <laughs> I'm sitting there. We would really like to. Oh, I would too. love to. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so what have you done at this point in this recipe? Okay, I have taken a stick of softened butter mm -hmm. and a block of softened cream cheese. And I mixed it all up in my handy dandy KitchenAid mixer. Mm -hmm. And now we have this. And that's so nothing but fat right there. So, oh, yeah. But and um, good taste. Yeah, if you're on a diet, don't make this. Just eat it, hide it, whatever. So, <laughs> okay. So then we're going to take. We're going to take a cup of powdered sugar, which is what I have here. And normally you would do this still in your mix master, correct? Yeah. Not by hand, mm -hmm. but we were yeah. we didn't you, want it to fly all over, so you we certainly were, can. Um, be easier. And I, but, but when you add that, you either need to add it in very carefully, or you need to do it all low, because have you added confectioner sugar? Mm -hmm. and it just well, I always put a a, um, a dish towel over the top of it. Oh, okay. And flip it so it's well, not. I'm not wearing that. it, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> because it does. Oh yeah. It is. Um, it's Good. a mess, especially if you're trying to make more than one, because this is going to be. You can tell by the size of this. It's going to be. A fairly small ball. Mm -hmm. Whenever I make it, um, I would double the recipe, mm -hmm. and which would be two blocks of cream cheese and two cups of powdered sugar, and this is and two brown sugar. Of butter. This is in two sticks of butter, and this is um, two, two tablespoons of brown sugar. And it's light brown sugar. Is that important or does it matter? The, yes, because you know it's been hard to find dark brown sugar mm -hmm. lately. And sometimes what, it over, it's overpowering. It's got a stronger taste to it, mm -hmm. so I kind of like light brown sugar anyway. Yes, it tastes more like maple syrup, you know. Uh huh. Now, now you're right, Terry. This would not be something I would think of a typical cheese ball. I mean, sugar, 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 and butter and cream cheese. I mean, this is like a dessert. But you know what? In my opinion, this has all the staples. You know, people mm -hmm. talk like you need flour and milk and bread and such as that. No, nah, your refrigerator needs to be full of cream cheese and <laughs> no. sour cream and chocolate chips and lots of butter. Mm. And also, don't use margarine. You know, just just throw that stuff away. Just buy butter for real, the way God intended it to be. And, and the back and forth over healthier and whatnot has been disputed. So I think really butter is, I mean, you're better off with butter anyway without I mean, the hydrogenated oils and well, all. Well, I mean, it, it, if you're using margarine because you think butter is too fat, do you know what's in margarine? I mean, that's, it's been so processed that it's, um, it's not even the real thing mm -hmm. anymore. It's mm -hmm. made with olive oil. Okay, well, uh, what else has it got? <laughs> it's kind of like canola oil. Mm -hmm. I don't see canola growing in a field somewhere. What is canola? Sounds, it is vegetable based, but I'm not sure. Is there? A, we'll have to I'll Google and see if there's a canola tree. Nobody says I'm a canola farmer. You yeah. know that's. <laughs> so you're adding vanilla. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla, uh -huh. real vanilla, not imitation vanilla. Throw that away with your margarine. All right, and this is the good stuff. And where did you get this Madagascar recipe? vanilla. Oh, yum. Uh, What's it, where did you find this recipe originally? Online? Um, I was trying to find something unique. I never want to do the same old thing that everybody says or uh, that they want. So I was trying to find something that was unique. And um, I Googled it, and it popped up. And I thought, are you kidding me? And then I'm reading all the, the reviews, you mm -hmm. know, and I always go to the reviews. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, my God. This was so totally unexpected. Mm -hmm. And um, so I thought, okay, I'll try it. And I had to force people to go over. First they thought the mini chocolate chips were peppercorns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. It didn't have the lighting or something, too. I was like, no, okay, wait a minute. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to mix. We're gonna, I got a small bag of mini, the semi-sweet. Semi Mm -hmm. um, chocolate chips. I would have preferred that it was the, the milk chocolate one, you know, because these are kind of bitter. But anyway, God didn't intend that. You got some that. sugar in there, so that'll help offset it. And the cookies and all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so half of the bag goes in so there. So I'm going to take about half of these and put this in the mix. Mm -hmm. Now, at this time, at this point in time, you 
the sky is the limit as to what you can do with this. Just think about it. Just Eat think it. if you put some mint <laughs> flavoring in there. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a great big humongous York peppermint patty. Or if you like, um, if you like chocolate covered cherries, you can put some of the maraschino cherries with mm -hmm. a little bit of the syrup in there. And you've got these suggestions that you were going to put on our website mm -hmm. too for other variations: mint flavored maraschino cherries. Toffee, toffee, coconut and, and pecans. The coconut pecan was a German chocolate cheese ball, uh -huh. and um, I thought, oh no, that sounds good because I love coconut, I love pecan, mm -hmm. and um, you say pecan or pecan, hey, whatever you. Mine are pecans. You pecans. Might I be say pecan. pecans. <laughs> pecans. I had a Yankee mother, and that's what she she called a pecan. So, well, you know, a pecan is something that's not edible, you know, it's uh, something okay. in the corner over there that you go in emergencies. So this, now, at this point in time, normally I would take this and I would put it in the refrigerator and let it chill mm -hmm. so it can be manageable because what we're going to do is we're going to form it into a ball and, um, and actually the recipe is calling for stick it in the refrigerator three times so it's if you're on a run and trying to make this quickly, don't make it because it's not going to be a ball, it's going to be a dip. So you can do that either way. You can put this in a really pretty little bowl mm -hmm. with your cookies around it. And um, But the cheese ball, making it into a ball is something that is so unexpected. Okay. So, so I'm going to dump it. Do you do it on handy wrap or, you know, I have put it wrap? on saran wrap. Now, what I did is I took two pieces and I crossed them. And is this what you normally do if you were at home? Do you... We kind of make it ball shaped and then wrap it and put it in the refrigerator for the that first time. That is exactly what I would do. Okay. And um, so take this and kind of kind of mold it around, make it a ball, stick it in the refrigerator. Since we're not going to do that, then I'm going to take the remaining chocolate chips and I'm going to coat that sucker. Something else you can put on here, which is what I did on the final one, I um crushed up Oreos mm. and I mix the Oreos with the chocolate chips here and um, it wow. is it I mean it's heck with the cookies or the crackers just eat it with a spoon <laughs> no. so at a party you would give everybody a spoon and tell them just have at it is uh -huh. that yeah. oh yeah uh -huh. <laughs> it's like better than ice cream so I would take this stick it in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and um, and chill it for about how long on the first go round? Well, it's at an hour, you know, and um, I have no patience for that, so it's like I stick it in the freezer and just <laughs> pull it out quickly. And then what are the other two times that you chill it? You said three times? Okay, so so the first, you chill it before you put the chocolate chips on. Mm -hmm. So now you can form it in a ball, mm -hmm. and then you roll out, roll out the chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. I put the chocolate chips in a, like a like a Tupperware container mm -hmm. or any type of um, like rectangle bowl. Mm -hmm. And then I can just kind of pat oh, it around and it's manageable. It's not going all through my mm -hmm. fingers, you know, and that sort so of thing. So again, you would have chilled it before you put those on to start with, and then you do more, and then the last time you chill it and bring it out to serve it? Yes, ma'am, thank you so much for pointing that out. And then <laughs> put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. You know, if they it's tell the, the family to stay, not to touch it. Oh, if it's the heat of the day, then you got a dip. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, we're going to, you've got a nice ball shape. I there, know. And we've got all the finished products, so we're going to clear the table and bring them out, and we'll be right Yay, back. Yay, that's the fun part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? 
Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business. Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. Terry, this is gorgeous, just gorgeous. I, it, you've got such a flair. I it's mean, it's all decorating. about presentation. Oh, you know? well, <laughs> it could not be more beautiful. And let's start with your cheese ball, and you have finished it. Those are crushed chocolate cookies it, on there too, it's right? It's crushed Oreos. Um, I just put those in a Ziploc bag and um, put them on the ground and step on them. That's how I crush them. It's real professional. You have to have a technique to do no it. No special right. equipment needed. So, and then these are chocolate wafers. These are these are little awesome cookies, and I apologize. I had another package of them, but I ate them. So, um, but um, you can put any type of cookies. I like the chocolate graham crackers, but they don't uh -huh. make them anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't find them anywhere. Uh -huh. um, well, these so are pretty. These are little chocolate tea biscuits from England. Mm -hmm. So well, let's um, taste it. You so, want to serve some up? Mm-hmm. So here we go. Wow, that's a big serving. Now, okay, okay, all right. Here, I'll give you a little bit. I bet, I, but I promise you, you're going to wish that I had put more on Oh, I know. There. We'll do it after after we finish, but we got to talk. Are you going to eat some? Well, yes, and then I'll have to talk, and I've got chocolate stuck between my teeth. That's really going to be Oh, a... wow. Seriously, you're not just saying that no. on TV? Mm. You know, okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a dessert. I mean, it really is like, mmm. It's like one of the best desserts you ever had in your whole life. Yes! <laughs> well, and we, we don't have a lot of time, Score. so how about doing this? The, the okay, now you have to you have to give this one the same let me let you start. review as you gave my oh, chocolate wow. chip cheese ball. You got it. All right. You know, I love desserts. I don't eat them All right, a whole here you lot. Go. Okay, wow. She's very generous, folks. Mm. Okay, well, I'm gonna get started here while you serve some more. Yum. And see, that's what this is what I was saying that after the first dip, mm -hmm. it's like the bowl is all messy. So I can really taste that lemon zest in here too, and the the black the blueberry jam. Mmm. Wonderful. Really? Is, yeah. Oh, really? And it's tell light. Us about, and you have fixed. These, okay. What are these? Since I had blueberries and lemons left over, uh -huh. I decided to make you some blueberry lemonade. Mm. And this is just fresh squeezed lemons mm -hmm. and um, and a blueberry simple syrup, which you just take a pot, put some blueberries in it, a little bit of water, and a cup of sugar, and um, mm. boil it down. And then I put it in a food processor, ground it up, and then I um, strained it to take out the, a lot of the chunky pulp. This so. is really good. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. And you have this recipe on our website too, right? We'll it's with Sam, Jean, and Terry. Come back. Promise you'll come back. Mm -hmm. I'll be here tomorrow. What oh, time okay. do you want me to be? Here? Okay. Whatever time works for you. <laughs> and thank you. And we'll see you again next week too. Bye. <laughs> Cut. Good deal. Mm. Terry, that was so good. <laughs> if you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount.